Hey friends, I've officially begun my trip. I'm about two and a half hours outside of Portland, Oregon and want to do a quick video just to give you an idea of what it looks like to have your entire life belongings in your car and make your bucket list dream come true as I am doing uh, as I start my trip, road trip across the United States. I'm headed down south and I decided to pull off on the side of the road to do this video and it was really funny because when I get these inclinations to pull off the side of the road, um, they just seem to happen at the perfect time because where I have stopped today, I have once again discovered another place of heaven on earth. Welcome to heaven on earth restaurant. <laughs> Heaven is always all around me, and um, I'm constantly reminded that uh, um, heaven really does exist on earth. Literally, here's the restaurant. All right, well, just a really quick video. I have packed up all my stuff, and it fit in my car. Phew! Um, so I'm going to show you really quick what I got. All right, so back here, I have a black sheet covering my stuff just so that even though I have tinted windows, um, it helps, you know... Um, hide all these vibrant colors that I have of suitcases and stuff so people don't know um, that I have a whole bunch of stuff in my car and that my life belongings are in it. So what's really cool is um, I've pretty much used duffel bags to be able to organize um, my different belongings. So I have all my pants down here in this duffel bag. I have all my tops here. I have all my bathware, all my entertainment, and my kitchen stuff. And what's really cool about this new car that I have is it's got a secret compartment. So when I lift this up, it's got a whole nother storage area where I currently have my wardrobe that I'm not going to really be wearing on my trip. More of like my professional clothes and, um, and fancier clothes. So um, that comes in really, really handy. Next, I have another sheet back here covering my stuff. This is not as neatly organized, but it's pretty full back here. I'm gonna probably be downsizing as I continue on this trip, just because it still feels like a lot of stuff, but it's what I've downsized so far, and always with decluttering, it's a layered process. So. Um, you never want to force yourself to get rid of too many things that you're not comfortable with. Otherwise, you're going to resent the process and not trust it. And then it'll make you not want to get rid of things. So um, being really kind of uh, patient with the process um, is very helpful. So lastly, up front here, I've got my travel companion, Yoda, with me. I love Yoda so, so much, and even though Yoda is a stuffed animal, um, I can't have any pets right now just because I'm too transitory, and so having a stuffed animal keeps me company. Call me wacko weird. I love Yoda. I even talk to Yoda, hug Yoda. Um, Yoda is my buddy here. And I am, uh, I got comfy seat covers for my car, so... Um, I love fuzzy soft. I'm a Taurus, so I love um, taste, touch, smell, feel, all that stuff. So I needed to have something really comfortable as I'm on the road. I also have a crystal for protection energetically for my car and removing all negative energy. And then what's super cool is I have two glove boxes in this car. So I have my sunglasses and reading glasses, nighttime driving glasses, and then I have in this one just some miscellaneous supplies. I've got my mace I'm gonna put on my keychain, my selfie stick, and, uh, and a bunch of maps. So I am uh, super excited to keep sharing this journey with you. So stay tuned and I will continue to take pictures as I visit all these amazing places along my trip and I'm taking you along with me. So until next time, I will see you again soon.